Hello, hope you're doing good. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Calendly appointment booking platform. The first thing you want to do is go onto Calendly.com. From there, you can get started for completely free as they offer a free forever plan, which will also give you access to numerous features. So all you'll need to do is sign up. You can do that using your Google account or overall your general email account. Once you're signed up, so let's do that real quick. I'll simply tap on sign up right here. And once you're signed up, you'll be redirected to your main dashboard. So let's do that. And from there, I'll be showing you how to set up your account. So you can see that it is quite easy to do. All you'll need to do is simply enter your email address. Then you'll be redirected to the introduction page. And from here, you can edit your Calendly link by tapping right here. You could make changes. You can also change the time zone if you want. After doing that, you'll tap on continue. Once you have tapped on continue, you'll be redirected to this page so you can see how your link will look. Then we'll tap on continue. After tapping on continue, from here you can set up your working time. So this is basically the time slots that you'll be available. So for example, let's say we'll be offering our services from Mondays to Fridays. So we'll leave it as is and we'll be starting from 10 a.m. and we'll cut off by 2 p.m. So we'll simply select 2 p.m. real quick. So we'll select 14 right there. Then you will tap on continue. After tapping on continue, you can select your role. So for example, customer success or account management, leader, entrepreneur, freelance or consultant. You can select any one of these roles that best describes you or you can tap on other. For this example, I will be selecting consultant and freelancer. Then we'll tap on finish. After you have tapped on finish, you'll be redirected to your main dashboard. And on the main dashboard, the first thing you can do is create an event. So you're going to go over to the top left hand corner and you're going to tap on create. After you have selected create, you can see the different event types right here. So we are going to tap on event type. After tapping on event type, whether it is a one-on-one -on -one consultation, a group consultation, collective, or round robin, you can select any one of these event types. For example, I will be selecting one-on-one. -on -one. Then from there, I'll be the host. Then I'll tap on next. After you have tapped on next, from here, you can give your event a name. So for example, consultation. Then you can select the duration. So for example, 45 minutes. And you can select the location, whether it is Zoom, phone call, or in person. For example, I'll select Zoom. And from there, you will need to tap on Zoom integration page and then you'll connect your Zoom account. After you have done that, you'll tap on continue in the bottom left hand corner. Once you have tapped on continue, you'll be redirected to this page. So from here, you can go over to the left hand menu option, as you can see right here. And you can also see a preview of how it looks here. So all you'll need to do is go over to the left hand menu option, from here, you can tap on Scheduling Settings. After selecting Scheduling Settings, you can see Invitees can schedule 60-day calendar days. You can change that if you want, and you can select within a date range by tapping right here, and you can select the date range. You can also scroll down. You can edit the available times. Right here, you can edit your available times. You can also add a buffer time if you want. After you're finished, you can simply go back. So we'll tap on back right there. And you can tap on booking page options. After selecting booking page options, you can see the page name that we had chosen. And you can also scroll down. If it is a case that you would like to ask them a question, you could tap on add new question. And you can also connect different payment options. 
so that they'll be able to pay for the consultation. So to do this, you'll tap on Collect Payment. After you have tapped on Collect Payment, you could tap on Go to Integrations. Once you have tapped on Go to Integrations, you'll be redirected to this page. From here, you'll be able to connect your Stripe account and your PayPal account by selecting either one of these platforms. By doing this, you'll be able to provide your clients with numerous payment options, which in turn will increase your conversion rate as it will increase the probability of them booking a consultation or your services. And since we are on the integrations page, you can see right here that you can integrate your sales and CRM platforms as you can see there. You can also integrate marketing platforms, for example, Google Analytics and Marketo and MailChimp. So you can see that there are numerous integrations that you are provided with with Calendly. Now we want to go back to event types. So we are going to tap right there. You can see the consultation that we had created. Now we're going to tap on view booking page as I want you to see how it looks. So this is how our booking page looks at the moment. So you have the consultation right there and they'll be able to choose the time. So once they tap on the time from there, they can tap right there. Then they'll tap on next and here they'll enter their name, email address and basic information. And if we had set up a payment plan, they would be prompt to pay. Then they'll tap on a schedule event. If it is a case that you would like to share or add your link to a website, for example, Google Sites or a WordPress website, you can also do that. All you'll need to do is tap on menu right here. Then you're going to tap on home. After you have tapped on home and you're back on the home page, what I want you to do is you're going to go over to the left hand menu option. You want to select event types. Once you're on the event types page, we're going to tap right here and we're going to tap on the settings cog. After tapping on the settings cog, you're going to tap on edit. Now, once you have selected edit, all you'll need to do is go to the top menu option right where you see share. You're going to tap right there. After tapping on share, you're going to tap on add to website. Once you have selected add to website, you can see that you have three different options. You can select inline embed, you can select a pop-up widget, or you can select pop-up text. For this example, we'll select inline embed, and I'm going to be embedded it on a Google site. So we'll tap on continue. After tapping on continue, from here, all you'll need to do now, you can go onto another tab. And as I said, I'm going to be using a Google site for example sake. Then I'll select embed, select embed code, and we're going to paste the code right here. After you have pasted the code, let me go back real quick. So let me copy the code. So I'll copy the code right here, go back onto Google sites, and I'm going to paste the code. Then I'm going to tap on next. After you have tapped on next, you will see a preview of how it looks. So you can see it right there. Then you'll tap on insert and you can see that it has now been added to my website. And this is the same concept that you would use to add it to a WordPress website or any other platform. Now you can go back into Calendly and after you're finished, you can simply tap on close. And then from there, we can tap on done and you can go over to the left hand menu option. If it is a case that you would like to set up automated workflows, for example, let's say you would like to set up some reminders. So just in case someone would like to cancel a consultation or so on, you can send out email reminders right there. So you could tap on email reminder to invite. And then from there, you'll be able to edit your workflow or you can use their custom built workflow as you can see right here. You can simply edit it so you can select the time you would like it to send out and so on. Now let's go back. You can also see that you can send thank you emails. You can set up numerous workflows as you can see right here. 
there are numerous options you can choose from. And in the future, once you start getting some clicks and some visits, you can tap on analytics. And from here, you'll be able to view your conversion rate and so on. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. And by the way, to edit your profile, you will tap right in the top right hand corner where you see your profile pic. Then from there, you can tap on profile and you will be able to edit it. Thank you for watching.